गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ वीडियो फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस वी वर स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम दिस इज योर लेक्चर नंबर फोर एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस दी एनसीआर टी क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज वट आर the advantages of using cng and lpg as fuels means you have to write that what are the advantages of cng and lpg so answer is cng its full form is compressed natural gas and lpg means liquefied petroleum gas CNG and LPG are natural gases and acts as a fuel and some of the advantages of CNG and LPG are first advantage is both the gases can be burned directly as its ignition temperature is low means the ignition temperature of LPG and CNG is low it means cng and lpg catches fire easily okay so this is the advantage second is these are clean fuel than any other fuel means on burning they will not produce harmful gases cng and lpg are less polluting that that's why they are called clean fuel third advantage is both fuels do not produce gases in the form of smokes when burnt means on burning lpg and cng do not produce smoke or ash okay thus these gases acts as less polluting fuels next advantage is these produces too much heat energy on burning means it will produce large amount of heat energy okay and fifth advantage is it does not leave ash after burning next is it has very high calorific value we have discussed in the previous lecture that what is calorific value means the amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel is called its calorific value it means what lpg and cng produce large amount of heat energy on burning so it has very high calorific value so these are some advantages of cng and lpg that's why we are prefer to use lpg and cng instead of any other fuel question number 2 is name the petroleum product used for surfacing of roads means write the product name petroleum product name which is used for making roads or for surfacing of roads means used on the surface of roads so answer is bitumen bitumen is a petroleum product it is the leftover part of petroleum okay and it is used for making roads surfaces so answer is bitumen now question number 3 is describe how coal is formed from dead vegetation means you have to write the formation of coal and what is this process cold answer is about million of years ago the dense forest and dead animals got buried under the soil these get buried deep due to many natural processes and soil deposited over them means soil get deposit over dense forest and dead animals 
and this goat buried deep under the soil where they exposed to high temperature and high pressure means high temperature and high pressure is present in the lower regions means under the earth and they generated too much heat the dead plants changed into coal means due to high temperature and pressure the dead plants changed into coal so this is the formation of coal now what is this process called we know that the formation of coal is a slow process and this slow process of conversion of dead plants and animals into coal is called carbonization because coal mainly consists carbon that's why it is called carbonization okay so what is carbonization slow process of conversion of dead plants and animals into coal is called carbonization now question number 4 is fill in the blanks a part is fossil fuels are dash dash and dash means you have to write the name of fossil fuel so it can be petrol coal and natural gas fossil fuels are petrol coal and natural gas b part process of separation of different constituents from petroleum is called this is called refining or you can also write petroleum refining okay c part is least polluting fuel for vehicles is cng okay cng is a fuel that can be used in vehicles and it is less polluting fuel now question number 5 is tick true or false against the following statements first statement is fossil fuels can be made in the laboratory is it possible to make fossil fuels in the laboratory no fossil fuels can be extracted from the earth okay it is a natural resource it can not be made in the laboratory so this is a false statement b part cng is more polluting fuel than petrol no cng is less polluting fuel so this statement is also false c part coke is almost pure form of carbon yes coke mainly consist carbon okay so this statement is true d part is coal tar is a mixture of various substances yes coal tar is a mixture of various substances this statement is true e part is kerosene is not a fossil fuel this statement is false because kerosene is a petroleum product and it is also a fossil fuel so write here false now question number 6 is explain why fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources means why the fossil fuels are called exhaustible natural resources answer is fossil fuels require millions of years to form from the plants and dead animals that gets buried under the earth and then exposed to very high temperature and pressure but the trees and animals are in limited quantity and they take millions of years to form so the fossil fuels obtained from these are in limited quantity means they found in limited quantity that's why fossil fuels are exhaustible resources now question number 7 is 
describe characteristics and uses of coke so answer is it is grayish black in color it is very hard substance it contains mainly carbon and fourth characteristic is its ignition temperature is high and thus generates more heat energy means it can produce more heat energy now what are the uses of coke first use is it is used in extraction of metals like iron and it is also used in preparation of fuel gases so these are some uses of coke now question number 8 is explain the process of formation of petroleum petroleum was formed from organisms living in the sea such as algae and then dead remains of marine animals and plants settled at the bottom of the sea and got covered with sediments means got covered with the layers of sand and clay and due to intense heat and pressure in the lower regions more layers settled over the sea bed then due to high heat and pressure the organic matter liquefied and seeped down until it reached a bed of in previous rocks in this way that organism transformed into petroleum so this is the formation of petroleum question number 9 is the following table shows the total power shortage in india from 1991 to 1997 means this table is showing the total power total power shortage okay power shortage in india from 1991 to 1997 show the data in the form of a graph plot shortage percentage for the years on the y axis and the year on the x axis means by using these data you have to draw a graph in this book uh, year is given from 2004 to 2010 but this is wrong so write here 1991 1992 okay 1993 1994 and then up to 97 okay this is written by mistake so this uh, is total power shortage from 1991 to 1997 now we will draw a graph take a graph paper and draw a x axis and y axis on the graph paper this horizontal line is x axis and this vertical line is y axis and where the x axis and y axis met this point is called origin okay and then specify years on the x axis and shortage percent along the y axis years is from 1991 to 1997 and the maximum shortage percent in the table is given 11.2 that's why we have written here up to 12 now for year 1991 shortage percent is 7.8 see this is 7 and this is 7.5 so 7.8 is above 7.5 so draw a line parallel to y axis and this line is up to 7.8 and draw a line parallel to x axis and then where these two lines met in this way and for 1992 it is 8.6 again draw a line 
parallel to x axis it is 8.6 so 8.6 draw a line up to 8.6 and similarly draw a line parallel to y axis and uh, the these two lines met at this point other points like for 1993 it is 9 so 9 is here for 1993 shortage percent is 9 for 1994 shortage percent is 9.5 for 1995 shortage percent is 9.9 means nearly 10 it is 9 for 9 and for 1996 shortage percent is 11.2 this is 11 so 1 2 so 11.2 and for 1997 it is 10 shortage percent is 10 now join all the points with the help of scale like this take a scale and join all the points okay so this graph is showing the power shortage in india from 1991 to 1997 draw this graph means on a graph paper and then paste in your fair notebook now we will discuss the homework solution of previous lecture first question was where is natural gas found so it is found deep under the earth answer is it is found deep under the earth between two layers of in previous rocks either above or along with petroleum deposits second question is why is cng used as a fuel to run automobiles and buses now a days so reason is it is less polluting fuel means it is a clean fuel this is the answer third question was what are the consequence of overusing fossil fuels answer is excessive use of fossil fuels is causing some major environmental problems like global warming air pollution etc and second effect is the rate at which we are using petroleum the day is not to fall when all the petroleum reserves may become depleted and it will result in energy crisis now question number 4 was how can we conserve fossil fuels answer is we should use renewable sources of energy like wind energy solar energy hydro energy to fulfill our energy needs second is energy should be generated from biomass third is by switching off the engines or vehicles at red lights next is by using public transport instead of using personal vehicles so these are some ways by which we can conserve fossil fuels now last question is what is the full form of cng so answer is compressed natural gas full form of cng is compressed natural gas today's homework is write all the ncert questions in fair notebook and learn all the ncert questions okay this is your today's homework so this ends for today's lecture thank you